What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're taking a look at Alder's Blood, an ultra slick Victorian game where we will find monsters and invite them to go on dates to shooting galleries with us. That's not what this game is about. This game is about monster hunting. We're going out and we're going to lay down some monsters. There's a chunk of that sentence that's really, really important for context and without it, I find that the whole thing just falls apart and then the trajectory of this game's synopsis changes wildly. So anyways, let's go hunt some monsters and see if we can use some of our pistols and swords and all that fun stuff to get rid of them. Let's go ahead and start on off. Start the campaign. Uh, it's important to know that this is a preview build. This game is not out yet. It was just actually successfully kickstarted. So everything you're seeing during the course of this episode, first impressions video, should essentially be taken with a grain of salt because there's going to be a lot of pieces missing. However, the game seemed pretty cool. So that's why we're checking it out like right now. last the crown is in sight my journey's end draws near just a stretch more road to take along with the lives of the last few creatures she hides then we shall rest father then we shall have peace that's like the the apogee of manliness right now like his name is duke he's got a big badass beard and he hunts monsters for a living i don't really know how you could be much more manly than that to move duke to any space we just like click there, right? So there we go. We can move inside this movement range. Sounds good. Let's take him on over there. Come on, Duke. Let's go ahead and saddle on up. See if we can move ourselves on over to that. Oh my god, the graphics. It would be wise to avoid unwanted attention. These patches of tall grass should conceal me well enough. All right. So if we're inside the tall grass or bushes, it will shake us or hide us from enemy sight. The cursor changes color when you're highlighting terrain that grants you concealment. Okay. Everything you do from concealment will keep you hidden regardless of the action used. Smart use of concealment can help hunters face overwhelming odds. Alright, moving into the bushes will require Duke to move further than his movement stat would allow. Okay. So we gotta go over to here. That's gonna lower our stamina on down, I assume, or use up like our entire turn. It's so pretty. As I suspected, this hilltop reeks of beast kind. Over there, between those decaying trees, the shrieker blocks the path. It should be dispatched quickly before it calls for help. I'll need a moment's rest to gather strength for the attack. All right, so every action Elder's Blood has a stamina point cost associated with it. It includes moving extra movement range, using attacks and abilities, and taking damage. Draining all of a hunter's stamina results in them being knocked down and becoming defenseless the following turn. Ending players, or ending the player's turn will restore hunter's stamina points at the beginning of their next, so long as they are not disturbed. Enemies are also affected by stamina loss the same way that hunters are. Focusing on draining stamina of a powerful opponent is a sound strategy. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. There's a shrieker over there. How hard is it to shoot him from, like, right here? Oh, it wants me to end my turn. All right, well, we'll hang out for a second. I don't know if he's going to, like, shuffle his ass on over here so that I can put a couple bullets on him. Because I got this Winchester over here, and I'm ready to just... Pacow, pacow, pacow. Just lay him down. One clean shot should put the creature down, albeit loudly. I pray none of its allies lurk nearby. Somehow I feel like I doubt that it's going to go that way. To initiate ranged combat, we got to select a corresponding ability on the ability bar. Okay. Sounds good to me, man. Uh, our ability bar is right here. And so we can let loose a thundering and powerful shot. Sounds pretty good to me. That guy got deleted. Dude had a terrible day. Can I reload? So we've got pebble, and then we've got whistle, and then we've got loud shot. Okay. Well, I suggest select the highlighted... No oh, it wants me to double move. Gotcha. I was going to take a turn, and... Oh, there's a bad guy right there. Did he see me? Curses. The wind wills against me. Any closer and this brute will catch my scent. Oh, Perhaps yeah. if I'm swift, I can make enough ground to shake the trail before he finds it. You can see like a little stink line right there. You see that? Apparently I'm exuding stink. This is why it's important to bathe before you go hunting werewolves. When moving your hunter, keep in mind the wind direction. A hunter's scent is carried by the wind in the direction it's blowing. It's best to stay downwind of your prey. Any monster who discovers a hunter's scent will become alerted and investigate its source. If it does investigate, it'd be best if the hunter moves on. Okay. So they're just going to have me, like, sneak through here, essentially. 
Okay, I see that. So he's probably gonna like move back. Uh, another one. Could it be they're drawn to your corpse? No matter. These beasts are simple. A thrown pebble would distract them enough to sneak past. All right, so pebbles will change the direction of unaware enemies. Monsters caught in the area of the ability will turn towards the point of impact and investigate it on the next turn. There's no limit to the amount of pebbles you can use because you can grab them from the ground. You know, there's rocks all over the place. It's a frequent symptom of this planet we live on. Okay, I feel like I'm going to have to play around with that system a little bit to really get a feel for it. But we're downwind, so I think we should be alright. Almost to the top. This clearing swarms with fiends. Perhaps a quiet approach is ideal. I should ready my blade before moving in. Alright, so hunters have two weapons, one large and a sidearm. You can switch between weapons at any time for zero cost. Equipping hunters with a variety of weapons will allow for more unique solutions, offering a larger choice of damage types to combat monsters' strengths and weaknesses. The video is not desynced right there. I was just like looking around the map while I finished off the rest of it. So there you go. A moment to catch my breath. Who knows what I will face the closer to the summit I get. Okay. Well then, do your thing, Brody. I kind of feel like, oh, they're going to make, okay, I was going to move up there, then end my turn. But we were, we were, we were agreeing with each other. We were working towards the same conclusion. The art style kind of reminds me of, like, Banner Saga a little bit. It's kind of got that feel to it. Like, not a lot, though. Like, I think Banner Saga used more solid colors and less textures and kind of less contours, I guess. This game seems a little more contour-heavy, I suppose. I guess it wants me to go to there, so that's exactly where I'm going to go because I'm a direction-following fool. Ah, a fine opening for my rapier. I should press the advantage while its back is exposed. Alright, so initiate melee combat with the corresponding ability on the ability bar. Choose the node the hunter should attack from within range of the enemy and choose a direction for the attack. Okay. So basically I'm going to pick the rapier, we're going to like put it right behind him and then go that way. Yeah. Exactly. Down he goes. One less werewolf. Brought the beast to its knees. It is vulnerable to banishing. Not the most elegant solution, but I have little choice. All right, so knockdown enemies can be banished from this world by a special hunter's ritual. Walk next to the enemy and flick on the banishing ability. Okay. Maybe we can do that. Yep, banish that dude. Yeah, that was a little crazy. I'm pretty sure I turned into a shadow monster right there for a second. Skin crawls. Such rituals invoke the darkness too intimately for my liking the deed is done and my destination is close at hand yeah like it kind of begs the question if you're going to turn into a shadow monster in order to defeat a monster who really is the monster there hopefully it doesn't have any long term cost I guess finally the summit I'm here at long last father now where are Oh, that's the end of the mission. I thought we were going to, like, anytime they trail off right there with, like, an ellipses, you assume that you're going to be attacked very, very shortly. Somebody's going to be all up on you real fast. Like, like, now where are... And then gets taken out by, like, a werewolf out the bushes. You and your hunting party are going to travel the land through many regions. Right now, you're in the crossroads region. While you were here, you can set up camp by clicking on the camp button. Okay. It was three months ago that Duke left. Suddenly, without word, note, or warning. We don't know why, but we know this land is cruel. He won't make it far on his own, and I won't lose him now. For weeks we stalked his tracks, and they led us to a desolate hill in the exile wastes. A place called the Crown. What did Duke hope to find here, other than a pile of weathered stones? Should we set up a camp here, Chief? Yeah, but put Renoir on lookout duty. We are strangers in the wastes, and we don't need any surprises. Where's Hugo? Not good, Chief. The corruption is spreading inside of him, but he's still with us. Keep an eye on him, okay? Will do, Chief. So you know they have, like, you know that they're monster hunters because there's a rule to the names that monster hunters have. They always have, like, a first name that's got tons of syllables. So, for example, their first name might be, like, Ichabod, and then their last name is always, like, a single syllable, no matter what. So it's, like, Ichabod Steel, you know, Abraham Crane, stuff like that. That's how you make a Victorian-sounding monster hunter name. It's a, you just read the Bible for, like, a first name, 
So like you would have like Methuselah Shaw. You know what I mean? That's the you see? You see? That's how the rule works. And if the rule works, we don't question it. And what are we doing right now? Setting up camp? All right, let's do it. While camping, you'll have an opportunity to manage camp tasks. There are several activities that your hunters can be instructed to do from guarding, resource scavenging, crafting, or recovering their wounds. To view and change them, visit the jobs board. Okay. So we've got a list of hunters currently in the caravan and what tasks they can be assigned. Okay. So make Ethan guard. And then I think that's pretty much it. So where's Ethan at? Ethan, your job is going to be garden. You hang out over here with your soul patch and just kind of protect us from the beasts of the night while the rest of us sleep. So Renoir is guarding? Oh, maybe they wanted Renoir to guard. I don't know. Everybody else is on resting now, so, you know, there you go. I'm pretty sure that's what the game wanted. Wow, it's pretty stylistic. Like, the game is really good looking. Like, the game is incredibly good looking. Like, it just oozes with aesthetic. Everyone's up and ready, Chief. Good. Get them saddled. We're going to leave for the crown at once. You think Duke could still be up there? I hope against all hope, my friend. All right, so let's embark. This is the world map from this menu. It's possible to select the next destination for the caravan by clicking on a region. Our efforts tracking Duke have suggested that he made his way to the crown. This will be our next destination. Simply select it to go. All right. So we are in the exile's waste, and there's the crown right there. Let's go for it. It's going to cost us eight food to get on over. Oh, dude, your eyes are glowing. I don't think that's a thing that the good guys normally have. Especially not glowing red. If they were glowing like white or like blue or like gold, I'd be like, maybe you're a good guy. But even so, glowing eyes, like, eh, somewhat risky. But red, you're definitely a bad guy. Hey, Duke. Chief. It's me, Chief. You, oh, by the father, what happened to you? Ethan Maxwell. Get under his arms. We got to get him out of here. So tired. Horrors unceasing. It was hard to look at a hollow shell that Duke has become. Once the greatest of our kin, now a broken blind man. What horror did he face that put him in such a condition? And why did we allow... Or why were we allowed to not be there with him? Why were we not allowed to be there with him? I'm guessing there's some translational Chief. issues. I have to say I'm impressed, Chief. How did you find me all the way out here? First off, why did you leave, Duke? Hasn't anybody ever told you it's unkind to answer a question with a question? Yeah, you did. But we could have helped you. Why'd you go alone? No, no Chief. You couldn't have helped me. You're not ready. What do you mean? You are bound by your loyalties, your responsibilities, duties to protect the humans who despise us and defend a world that plots against us. Tell me, Chief, has it ever dawned on you that we might hold a higher purpose? Our old duties were but a distraction? Help! Monster hunters, please come quick! They're almost upon us! What is it? Speak clear, boy. Beasts have attacked the Inn King's Rest near the crossroads. Go, brother. Your duties await you. You're coming with me. <laughs> and what use am I in this sorry state? You're a part of this family whether you like it or not, and I won't leave one of my own behind. Sir, please, we need to hurry. Lead the way, boy. Welcome to the mission briefing. With this screen, you will find details of the next mission, its objective, and possible rewards. On the right, you can change hunters, take part in the mission. You can also access equipment of the hunters to change their gear. When you're ready to take on, do your thing. So this guy's got some kind of big old machete thing. I don't see a lot of guns in this grouping. Do we have anything else we can play around with? So, like, let's say we've only got the knife. Okay, so we could technically give him, like, an axe. Do they have, like, proficiencies or something? Like, does that matter? Oh, nice. It changes, actually, his uh, animation. Cool. I like that. That means they actually went through and, like, hand-drew another set of gears so that he could have an axe. It's pretty rad. So we've got some hunting nets. He's got himself a battle axe. 
Okay, what does everybody else have? I just want to diversify. Oh, this guy is crazy looking. This guy definitely does not look like a good dude. He looks like possibly the bad guy. Can I dual wield hunting blades? I guess I've only got the two of them. I got an antidote right there. What is this thing? So that's a harpoon launcher. Yeah, I had a feeling it was something like that. But I wanted to hear it straight from the game's mouth. Rather bizarre adaptation of a whaling harpoon. Okay. It deals heavy damage to beasts, but more importantly, the shot is not as loud as those traditional firearms. Really, or highly praised by hunters who prefer a brutal yet stealthy approach. I can live with that. All right, let's start this mission off. Let's see what they got for us. The beasts are attacking the gate. You need to help everyone quickly. Boy, we will not throw our lives away with a frontal assault. The beasts are many, or we are but a few. Target and kill the pack leaders, and the rest will disperse. See those big ones? These are the ones that we need to take care of, but be careful. They're resilient, dangerous beasts. Every character in Elder's Blood has a set of resistances against different types of damage. A character with resistance against slashing will nullify all incoming slashing damage. Be mindful of the resistances your opponents possess, and you will never be caught off guard. For more information on resistances, you can consult the Codex. The monsters in front of the hunters is a brawler. They're known to have resistances against slash and blunt, meaning most of your weapons will be useless against him. But there are other ways of hurting the beasts. Every attack, in addition to its damage, will drain a bit of stamina from a monster, usually 10 points, and specialized weapons can do even more. Even if the damage type from the weapon is resisted, the damage total is nullified, the stamina will still be reduced. Drain all of the stamina from a monster and they'll be knocked down, and then you can banish them. The small monsters, we call them shriekers, may be weak, but they can call upon the enemies once they spot us. So we will stay out of their sight and target the big ones. Alright, it's time to go. Okay. So the wind is going left and upwards. This guy's immune to slashing. What's this guy got going on? So that's piercing damage right there. I mean, we could try to use the piercing damage on him. It does 100 damage. He's got 200 health, though. That part kind of concerns me. Nice. Okay, so we took out the little one. Now let's move up into the bushes. And so I think we're going to have to gang up on this guy. Hugo looks like he's out of stamina anyway, so... I'll have him hide right there for right now. How did he see me in the bushes right there? I am curious about how he saw me in the bushes. How did he see me in the bushes? I don't know how I feel about that. Interesting. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and we've got damage. That's a slash. Yeah, let's go with pear flesh, I guess. Doesn't appear to have done a whole lot. Characters that are inflicted with a bleeding status effect will lose 20 HP at the beginning of each turn the bleed is active. Additionally, characters inflicted with bleeding are vulnerable to spirit damage. This guy was in the bushes, right? He wasn't, like, behind the bush? I thought he was definitely in the bush. I think you might as well just keep stabbing. Oh, it was a slash damage. I forgot to change the attack. Uh, let's bring you up, I guess. So you move up to, like, there. And use that. And then we'll go with Pear Flesh over here. Because I need, like, damage out. If I don't get damage out, we're going to have problems. Go with more Pear Flesh over here. Yeah, just keep, keep pairing flesh, my guy. Exactly. The more flesh you can pair, the happier I will be. It looks like you actually get, like, a beefy allotment of turns. As long as your stamina doesn't run out, you should be okay. And then he'll be dead in just a second, so let's swap over to that guy. He's got a net. He's got that knife, though. All right, pair his flesh, please. There we go, he's down. All right, now we need to look for another one, but where is he? Every hunter has a special power that humans do not possess. The hunter sense. It allows the hunter to feel the presence of monsters around him, even when he doesn't see them. Monsters located inside hunter sense... But outside vision range will be identified as shadowy shapes, showing the position of monsters, but not the type. Okay. 
so we can hunter sense like that right there. I don't see anything nearby. The darkness activity is weak. They're probably over this way somewhere, is my guess, but I don't know. Now let's go ahead and bypass the turn real fast. I need everybody's stamina to come back. I'm going to see if I can heal him up with a med kit or something, too. Come on. Let's get us all... Pa everybody take a breather. That's right. Breathe heavily. So different people have different amounts of stamina, too. All right. So he's got three charges on that. Eat to restore health. Oh, I can't give that to somebody else? Oh, I thought I was going to... Yeah, he is in the bushes. Or is he behind the bush right there? Oh, I put him behind the bush. I'm an idiot. I thought I put him in the bush. Okay, that was my fault. Never mind then. There's nothing to complain about here. I'm just stupid. The wind has changed directions on me too. All right. Everybody into the brushes right there. When that guy runs, it kind of reminds me of the animations from Venture Brothers. I don't really know why, but it kind of does. He's got kind of like a goofy walk. We need to protect Renoir, whatever we do. So we'll take it slow. We all good here? So the wind changes turn by turn. Ah, there they are. With the wind direction, I'm thinking we want to set up down here, maybe. Might be the smartest way to do it. I don't know, though. Okay, Maxwell Blair. Well, I wanted him to go in the bushes, but I guess not. Alright, you get over here. Love the animation and the design. It's a beautiful game to look at. Like, it is gorgeous as far as strategy games go. It's a looker. It is very much a looker. So, like, this guy must just have really, really poor movement. Because these guys appear to be, like, it's not even allowing him. Maybe that's off the grid over there. Maybe we have to stay up this way. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Never mind. He doesn't have bad movement. I guess the map just kind of ends past these bushes. Like, these bushes actually aren't, like, an active part of play, I guess. All right. That's about as close as I want to get. I think. Yeah, because we don't exactly know what's going to happen with the smell of our characters. Like, if the wind shifts back to this left direction, I think we'll be all right. But if it's... Oh, not good. Please don't shift right. Please don't shift right. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're all right. We're going to be okay. Everything's going to be good. Where's my dude with the spear gun? We can pin him down. Yeah, go ahead and reload for me. Oh, wow, that was so expensive. That was, le that was like a righteously expensive. Fall back. All right, so if he doesn't really have any way to find us... I do want to start off on this guy. I wish I had more ranged combat options. I'm going to need you to fall back into the bushes, too. Yeah, everybody just fall back for right now. We'll wait and see what happens on the next turn, because I'm not positive this is going the way I want it to. Oh, so we're actually kind of like Van Helsinged out. Like, we can run around the brushes and they just lose us. Like, even if they see us, we're kind of like that shadow on the corner of your eye line. Like, I wonder if they have like an investigate animation or anything that helps them find us. I can get him from right here and that's piercing damage. I don't think it's the worst plan. And it looks like we pretty much like always hit. So that's good. Uh, now that his health is a little bit lower... I need you guys to move to there, and then attack there. 
Hopefully that critter don't see us. If that critter sees us, we got problems. Uh, you come over to here. And attack there. Yeah, just get him with the bleed. I don't know how much he's got 20 HP left. Doesn't he lose 20 HP from the bleed at the start of his turn? I think we should put everybody back in the bushes if we can. Because I think he's going to bleed out. Yeah, there he goes. Well done. With the pack leader slain, the rest of the pack will surely disperse. Nice. Mission successful. I'm a monster hunter. Yeah, yeah. The hunter's role in this world is to protect mankind, but a little gratitude for their efforts is always welcome. Your hunting party may receive items, weapons, charms, and resources as a reward for completing missions and quests. Nice. So there you go. We got a bunch of XP. Finally, someone with a head on his shoulders. Please, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. Thank you, Miss... Uh... Ooh, you gave me the old double-barrel hunting shotgun. Oh, just call me Ruth. Wait, is that Duke? Hello, Ruth. You two know each other? Indeed, Ruth has been my friend for many moons. Patch my wounds a time or two. Oh, so Ruth is a friend now, is she? The way I'd tell it, I play more of a savior. Watching you crawl your way back from every hunt, more beaten than the last. Tell me, friend, where did the wind take you this time? Running about the wilds with no word to your allies. Thank you, Hunter, for bringing this fool back to me. Please, rest your legs here a bit. I need a moment to bandage Duke. I dare say he looks worse than I would have imagined. The floorboards creak as Ruth helps Duke limp out of sight. After a moment, their footsteps pause. Ruth screams. What do you mean you can't see? Many thanks to you, good sir. Wish we had more fitting reward, but... Oh, bother. Where's that damn rifle? I think I already have it. Lady Ruth gave it to me. Ah, uh, yeah, Ruth. Nasty woman, but without her, we'd never have made it till your help arrived. Who is she, exactly? She has the look of a commoner, but I've never heard of a lady using a gun. Well, I shouldn't say too much behind her back. Just know she puts up a harsh mask. Underneath it all, she really is a caring sort. She's a skilled healer, and she's always up, up to help us outsiders. Should we find ourselves sick or wounded? Well, there you go. We are now in Act 1. I like it, actually. The combat feels very high stakes. You saw we took damage once, and our character was basically dead. And so I kind of like that. It makes you, it forces you to prioritize being super sneaky. But anyways, we're kind of out of time right now. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on in. I'll see y'all next time. If you want to see more Elder's Blood, don't hesitate. Put a like on this one because I actually, I might do another one anyways. I like this game. This seems pretty rad. We're playing the preview build right now from their Kickstarter, which already successfully was funded. So you don't need to worry about that. But what you can do is you can go to Steam and you can wishlist this game and it helps the developers out. My name is Splattercat. I sit through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming so that you don't have to. Hi, do and take care, everybody. It's been a really fun trip. I liked this one a lot. So keep an eye on it. Farewell.